Hi, today I'm going to show you how to connect the Mi Home app to the Xiaomi Mi Robotic Vacuum. If you watched my previous video about the Mi, Mi Robot Vacuum, I told you that I had trouble connecting the app to the robot. So I've discovered what I did wrong and I'll share with you the steps that you need to take to connect to the robot vacuum and use the app to start and stop schedule and track um, the progress of the robot and before you do that before connecting the app to the robot um, you have to check the Wi-Fi signal of the robot here um, you do that by opening this cover here and check the light here. This is the Wi-Fi signal. This is the Wi-Fi light of the robot. Let me just zoom in for you. Just try to zoom in. Zoom this in. You can see what it looks like. Just try to focus it. Okay. This is the Wi-Fi here and just in case you need to reset you just need to press these two buttons here this is the power or run button and this is the home uh, the home or docking button press it for a few seconds and you'll hear a voice prompt after a few seconds maybe four or five seconds let me just demonstrate it for you Okay, once you hear that, um, the Wi-Fi has been reset and as you can see the light starts blinking again and the app is available for both the for both iOS and Android devices so I'm using an Android phone so I'll open the Play Store now and we just focus this here. Let's try to focus this. See it clearly. Okay. Just need to type the Mi Home app here. And you'll see this pop up on screen. The Mi Home app. Just focus this here and get a better view. So the Mi Home app. And once you <clears throat> and install, click install. And you need this app to access the different features of this robot like the scheduling and um, and tracking but but uh, but as I've tested the app um, the tracking um, in terms of the map um, in, in terms of checking the location of the robot isn't um, does not seem to work for me at least for me if you've had this, a similar uh, different experience if you're able to track it, um, please comment below. But as for me, I, I've I haven't been able to track the the location of the robot using the, the using the app. Uh, let me let us let me open the app here now. Okay. This here, agree and continue. Okay, now once you have this, let me just try to focus this. Okay. Okay, once you have this window here, select locale. It's important that you select mainland China to see, to access all the features of this app. Click this mainland China here. OK, 
okay once you have it open um, this is the me store um, click on my devices here on the just try to focus this again click on my devices on the bottom left of your, of your screen here and you will need to sign in um, you will need to sign in if you haven't registered um, you have to register uh, let me just log in let me just pause the video and log in okay now I'm logging in the, the app and this is what you'll see when you log in just try to focus this okay you will it will try to detect um, for the Wi-Fi signal of the of the robot vacuum and what you do is um, click on the tap on the plus button here it's it's here on the upper upper right hand side I just try to focus upper right hand side of the the interface here and this is the this is the robot this is the signal for the robot this is the icon for the robot and but just in case you don't find this um, this icon here um, click on the plus here add manually it says add manually here and you look for the um, for the robot um, we just try to zoom this in to give you a better view okay this is this is the you have to look for this here this one this is the the icon for the robot vacuum tap this and reset the device after it's plugged in so just tap tap on this how to reset then reset successfully then it will scan then it will ask you to log in the the Wi-Fi to your wife um, to your um, to your router so I'll just log in for a bit um, I'll pause the video again okay now I've logged in and this is what um, your screen will look like as it um, connects to the robot vacuum now you need a router to to be able to use this app um, Gearbest says um, uh, a router is a requirement it acts as a gateway to your robot vacuum so that's something to keep in mind and once you've um, once the app connects to the robot it flashes this screen here and as you can see you can name the you can name the rooms here you can add a, you can add a room so you can rename this um, I've created one a, a blue room this is the blue room this is where I'm in right now and you can add more rooms and you can create a shortcut um, to your robot device um, then um, I've already created a shortcut so I'll just click done here click done here let me just focus it again click on done and now you're all set you're connected to the robot and now you're ready to to access all the features of the robot you can schedule you can you can ask the robot to clean um, when even when you're driving outside the house uh, which we, which I will test right now um, let, again let me just pause the video and move to a different area of the room okay now we're ready to test out the Mi Home app um, let me just tap this device here tap this icon here um, okay it will show you the this is the this is basically a 
series of videos to show you how to use this robot and it's in Chinese so I, I will not bother listening through it and this is the main interface of the robot here and you, you will need to tap you need to tap this here and this is the previous session of the robot um, it cleaned the, this room in the hallway let me just tap this here oh that's that's a sharing button sorry anyway um, let's just test um, this button here this is the power this is the sweeping button I'm not sure what this is but let's let's try this button here and see how it how it how responsive this app is Okay, it starts the robot. See, there's the robot. You see, and this is how the app looks like again. And you can see the robot moving in the background, and this is the app. And this is the real time demonstration of how the app works. And I'll let it run for a bit, then I'll stop the robot. And the red dot is not moving, but you can see the number here, this, this, this has changed. This is the size of the room. This represents the size of the room, this represents the battery life. This represents the time. So I don't see the red dot moving. Only the numbers at the bottom changing. So and let me just <clears throat> let me just test this icon here what it does. Um, let me just press this. I'm not sure what this is. Um, didn't seem to affect the how the robot navigates. Oh, it stopped. So um, I'm not sure where the robot is going. Uh, let me just move the tripod here. Give you. Focus the robot. Again, I, I again I press this button and the robot stopped. Um, that's what happened to the robot. It it seems like to be to be uh, crawling the edges here doing its edge cleaning mode okay, I'm not exactly sure what um, what what it does um, we we'll just go back to the let's just go back to the the app here I'm not sure what this button does um, I think it's 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 the edge edge uh, edge cleaning mode and now let me just click on the stop here this is the stop okay it stops it stops the robot I'm just testing the different buttons here for you. Um, okay, the robot stopped and it stopped underneath the tripod here, exactly underneath the tripod. And just 
and let me just click on let me just click on this home button here again let's go back to the app let's click on the home the charge uh, this is the home button here <clears throat> see how what the robot does okay the robot will now try to dock. Let me just move the tripod. Let me just get out of the way. And there's the robot. Going back to the dock. And there you go. That's the app in a nutshell. I've recorded another video um, to show you the features of the app. And I'll link to it in the description below. And again, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to post them in the comment section below.